everyone, this video is to assist you in using my IT lab with the Macintosh operating system. Currently I'm using my MacBook Pro with OS Lion 10.7.3. Now as you know, normally when you log into my IT lab, you have to log in using the remote desktop connector. This will let you access the simulators and all of my IT lab as if you were on an actual Windows PC. Because the remote desktop connector uses a virtualized version of Windows that is not actually on your computer, it does cause some difficulties such as file downloads and uploads may or may not work depending on what specific applications are installed on the virtual machine and your personal computer. It also has some issues with video playback stuttering and just overall it's very sluggish and difficult to control. Now what I'm going to show you is a backdoor way into my IT lab and through this method which is currently written up in the announcements and in the my IT lab and Mac document under resources folder this will allow you to complete most tasks in my IT lab other than the study plan simulations. For the study plan simulations, you will still have to log in using the remote desktop connector. So in the meantime, this walkthrough will show you how to access the textbook, how to take an exam, how to upload assignments through my IT lab without using the remote desktop connector. So here we go. The first thing we have to do is we have to use Safari. Now if you look down here I have multiple browsers installed on my computer. Safari, which I probably use the least out of all my Mac browsers, Firefox and Chrome, which are my two preferred. For this method we have to use Safari. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Safari. Now I'm going to expand Safari so it takes up the entire screen. Next up, I'm going to check what version of Safari I am using. In order for this to work, we have to be using Safari version 5 or higher. So I'm going to click Safari, I'm going to click About Safari, and as you can see, I'm using version 5.1.5. This one will be perfectly acceptable. I'm going to close the dialog box and get rid of it. Next up, we have to make sure that pop-up blocker has been disabled. Right now we can see mine is disabled. It has no check mark next to it. And that's what you want. You want to make sure there is no check mark next to it. Next, we're going to navigate to www.myitlab.com. This is all pretty normal. Now, as a Mac user, you've probably become accustomed to coming down here to Mac user click here. This is not what we want to do now. We want to come up here to the sign in just as if you were a regular Windows user and sign in. So we're going to click sign in and you can see it's taking me to the login screen. Now normally if you were doing this on your Mac and you're using Firefox or Chrome or Safari below version 4 you'll get an error message across the top of the screen saying it's an unsupported browser. We're not going to get that message with Safari. So I'm going to type in my login and password. Click login. There we go. And as you can see, I am now on my IT lab with my Mac using Safari. Now, as it works right here, I can go in and I can complete many portions of the course. There are a few things I won't be able to do. So let's go and look at course content. Here's our course content. My course starting here. When you're logged in with Safari, you do not need to come here and click start here, getting started with my IT lab. This material will still not function for the Mac. So you don't need to worry about this part at all. Your textbooks are here. We can come in and we can open up our textbook. And you'll see it'll run slightly faster than it will under Remote Desktop Connector. The actual build time will be dependent on your internet speed and your processor. So here's our textbook. I have full capability to navigate through it just like I would in Windows or under the Remote Desktop Connector. 
we go ahead and close this. If we come into week, our weekly resources, here's my normal weekly resources. If I check, click chapter four, I can read our instructions. I can watch, you know, view the textbook just like I just did. And I can come over here to take the chapter four quiz. And all I have to do is take it just like I'm in any other system. All right, that's good enough. And there I go, I've completed my chapter four quiz. If I look at back at week two folder and I look at Excel one, I will be able to watch my videos and they should run relatively smoothly. Let me go back. I can download the PowerPoint presentation. Now keep in mind you can download the PowerPoint presentation but in order to open it you have to be running Microsoft PowerPoint 2008 or 2011 or you have to have a PowerPoint viewer software installed on your machine. If these applications are missing you will not be able to open the PowerPoint file. But I can now come down here to my downloads click the Excel and voila here comes PowerPoint go with Microsoft Office 2010 and I can now review the material through the PowerPoint. So let me close that. I'm going to close PowerPoint now. I will not be able to do the study plan. It will still, if you try to start it, it will still give you an error message. So you will still need to use the remote desktop connector in order to complete the study plan. You will be able to use Safari based interface in order to upload your weekly reflections. So here in week two reflections, I'm going to click it. We have our typical interface and now I can just choose my file and let's see documents and let's say here is my file. I can choose it. My file is now uploaded to my IT lab to make sure that I want to submit it for my for grading I just hit add now that it is listed in the box it's going to be sent to me or my grader for review I click finish submit for grading and finish to confirm that I wish to have it submitted and it says file uploaded successfully and it's now awaiting grading so clicking return to course content, I've now successfully completed almost all aspects of the class with the exception of the study plan through this interface. Now Pearson's does not officially support entering within remote desktop connector. So if you do have issues with it, their level of technical support is going to be extremely limited. They're going to tell you to run it through the remote desktop connector. I will say go in try out this method it should suffice for 80 percent of the course with the remaining 20 percent being the my it lab based modules the simulation study plans that you'll have to complete through remote desktop connector or through a windows environment uh, that's all and if you have any questions or you have any comments you can comment on this video or you can send me an email thank you and good luck everyone